Five days in London. In this video, Mr. Jimmy will be your guide during an exciting five days tour of London. The charming capital of England and the UK. The tour itinerary is planned with four aims in mind. The first, to show you the historical English heritage sites and inform you of the English culture and traditions. The second, to help you sample and taste the delicious gourmet of the English cuisine. The third, to inform you of the best stores to shop around London, the shopping capital of the world. The last aim to entice you to try English entertainment and hospitality. On the first day at 7 a.m., Arrive at London Heathrow Airport, which is a city within a city. It has five terminals and is considered to be the busiest airport in the world. Naturally, with 15 million tourists visiting London each year. After finishing your visa and customs requirement, and assuming you have already used the internet to book your accommodation in a hotel or B&B bed and breakfast or a hostel, head straight to the underground or the tube, as Londoners like to call it, and buy yourself an Oyster card from one of the many machines over there. As the saying goes, the world is your oyster to discover. So use your Oyster card on buses, trains and the tube to discover London. At 9 a.m. take the tube to your hotel and check in. At 10 a.m. go to the quaint Hawksmoor restaurant and enjoy a quintessential English breakfast. And if Fry food is not your thing. Enjoy a continental breakfast or what else you fancy. In any of the many characteristic cafes in London. At 11 a.m. hop on the bus to Trafalgar Square. Stare in amazement at Nelson's columns. And visit free of charge the magnificent National Gallery, which exhibits almost 2,500 paintings by renowned painters. Each painting has a story to tell from the Dark Ages to the Renaissance. At 2 p.m., tunnel in the tube and go to eat at Poppy's, a very popular chippy. It serves a delish, mouth-watering fish and chips, the most favorable meal for the Brits. At 4 p.m., go to the shopping mecca of the world, Oxford Street, and shop for chic at Selfridge, the luxurious department store. At 6 p.m., back to your hotel to refresh and rest your feet. At 8 p.m. it's party time, so dress to impress. And go to the Hippodrome Casino Disco Bar and Restaurant. The famous nightclub has a fascinating singing and dancing live show and cabaret. At 12 a.m. it's bedtime, so back to the hotel 
because you have a busy day ahead of you. On the second day at 9 a.m., rise and shine and enjoy your breakfast at the hotel. At 10 a.m., take a boat ride on the River Thames, then visit the London Tower. The old fort was built by William the Conqueror. See the crown jewels. Traitor's Gate. The White Tower. The Bee Features. Black Ravens. And where King Henry VIII beheaded two of his wives. At 11 a.m. visit St. Paul's. The famous cathedral is an architectural landmark in London because it has figured prominently in many major culture and religious events from the funerals of Lord Nelson and Lord Winston Churchill to the marriage of Prince Charles and Diana Spencer. At 12 p.m., walk in Piccadilly Square, which is the focal point of many major shopping and entertainment areas in the West End of London. At 2 p.m., visit Covent Garden, which is renowned for its luxury fashion and beauty stores as well as award-winning restaurants and theatres. Watch live performances by street artists and buskers and lunch on traditional English meals such as pie and mash and bangers and mash. At 4 p.m. shop in Fortnum and Mason, a luxurious food and wine store it displays the Royal Coat of Arms as a supplier of the finest food and drinks to Buckingham Palace, the official residence of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. At 6 p.m., back to the hotel, put your feet up for a while. At 8 p.m., watch an amusing play at one of the theatres in the famous Shaftesbury Avenue. At 10 p.m., back to the hotel, nighty night, sleep tight, and don't let the bed bug bite. On the third day, at 9 a.m., wakey wakey, it's breakfast time at the hotel. At 10 a.m., visit free of charge the Victoria and Albert Museum. It was built in the days of Queen Victoria to educate designers, manufacturers, and members of the public in art and design. At 12 p.m., visit free of charge the Natural History Museum, which has a vast collection of skeletons of birds, mammals, and dinosaurs, and a huge specimens of insects, plants, rocks, minerals, and fossils. At 1 p.m., visit free of charge the Science Museum, which inspires visitors with award-winning exhibitions, iconic objects, and stories of incredible scientific achievement. The Science Museum has a world-class collection that forms an enduring record of scientific, technological, and medical advancement. At 2 p.m., you must be peckish by now. Enjoy snacks at Borough Market. Eat an appetizing Scottish egg or a Moorish Cornish pasty or a delectable Donna Kebab or a tasty sausage roll or a yummy bacon butty. 
at 4 p.m. Shop at the VIP department store Harrods and the splendid and modern department store Harvey Nichols. At 6 p.m. Eat an exquisite Sunday roast with fresh vegetables, Yorkshire pudding and gravy at Toby's Calvary. At 8 p.m. Jump with joy while watching a music concert at the magnificent and astonishing Royal Albert Hall. At 10 p.m. back to the hotel fancy a night camp. On the fourth day at 8 a.m. here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Get up and enjoy a plateable breakfast at the hotel. At 9.30 a.m. take a ride on the London Eye. and enjoy a spectacular bird's eye view of the beautiful London city. At 10.30 a.m. visit the British Museum. The splendid museum has so many antiquities that dates back thousands of years to the eras of many great and all civilizations Egyptians, Persians, Greco, Roman and Chinese. At 1 p.m. visit Westminster Abbey Cathedral. Marvel adds architectural design and read the epitaph engraved on the tombstone of the famous novelist Charles Dickens, who is buried there. At 2 p.m. eat a scrumptious lunch like an Irish stew or shepherd's pie or cottage pie in a traditional English pub in Westminster. At 4 p.m. shop at Liberty Department Store. See the striking building of this amazing place. Liberty creates its own designs and fashion trends. in fabrics and other products. At 6 p.m. back to the hotel for a short kip, not a long snooze. At 8 p.m. dinner at Chinatown, which is full of Chinese restaurants. The aroma will whet your appetite. The Chinese cuisine is one of the many contributions by the Chinese community to the British culture. At 10 p.m., back to the hotel. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to bed we go. On the fifth day, at 9 a.m., morning has broken like the first morning. Enjoy your breakfast in the open air outside an English cafe. At 10.30 a.m. visit Madame Tussaud Museum and see the, the amazing resemblance of the life-size wax effigies of celebrities and historical characters. At 11.30 a.m. visit the Museum of the Famous mysterious and intriguing crimes detective Sherlock Holmes. At 1 p.m. take a London tour and see the sights.
on an open top double decker red bus. At 2 p.m., eat chicken masala in a quaint Indian restaurant. The smell is irresistible and the spicy taste is so yummy. The Indian cuisine is one of the many contributions by the Indian community to the English way of life. At 4 p.m., shop till you drop. At Prime Mark, Version Hamleys and other grand department stores full of international and well known brands located in or near Oxford Street, Regent Street, and Leicester Square. At 6 pm, back to hotel for a quick nap and to recharge the battery. At 8 p.m., a visit to the Royal Opera House. And dinner at a cozy Italian restaurant afterwards. At 11 p.m., back to the hotel. Time flies. Sorry to know that today was your last day and you will be leaving London tomorrow. Although your five days tour of London is almost over, there are still lots more exciting, unmissable annual events you should attend and enjoy in London and other places in England, like the Royal Ascot, the Wimbledon Tennis Tournament, the Notting Hill Carnival, the London Marathon, Glastonbury Music Festival, the Henley Regatta Rowing Competition and the Grand National Horses Race. Also, there are some fascinating street markets with great bargains and sales on offer. One should shop at, like Portable Road Antiques Market and Camden Market. And also there are many more culture and heritage places to visit in London, like the Maritime Museum in Greenwich, the Tate Gallery, Kew Gardens, London Zoo, the Transport Museum, and the War Museum. On the sixth day at 7 a.m., check out of the hotel. Thank you for being a generous tipper. At 8 a.m., eat sandwiches from the upper crust or preta manje. Both are well-known franchises and both serve superb sandwiches. With heavenly taste, you will lick your sticky fingers. At 10 a.m., take the tube back to Heathrow Airport for your return flights. When your visit is terminated, 
We hope you will say, London, I will be back.